Hello, and welcome to the, my guide to signing up, registering, and racing in Condor Season 5. We've gotten so much interest from new racers this season, and I'm looking to make the process of getting ready as smooth as possible for all parties involved. So for starters, if, you, if you're interested in participating in Condor Season 5, you can go to s5signups.condorleague.tv. Link will be in the description below. It's a very simple form you need to fill out here. We need your email, your Discord name, make sure you have the Discord client installed with a registered username, your Steam name. This tournament and all tournaments in the future will most likely be using the Amplify DLC, which is currently only available through Steam Early Access. So those good old game versions and the console versions won't work here. You need the Steam version. You also need a Twitch username, a time zone, you need to answer these questions concerning availability for Friday and Saturday showcase times, and lastly, leave any qu final questions, comments, or concerns in this box at the bottom, and then click Submit. It's that simple. Once you've submitted your signups, all that is left is to wait for an email from staff pointing you where to go next. The most relevant thing is going to be a link to the Condor Season 5 Discord server. There are two channels you should be paying close attention to here. The Announcements channel, which will keep you up to date on any relevant new tournament information. And the Rules and Resources page, which is self-explanatory. If you have any questions about how the tournament works, or how to do something, check here first and make sure that it's not answered already. We're going to be focusing on this first link by Mac right up here, instructions on setting up your streaming application for RTMP streaming. This tournament uses a specialized RTMP server in order to provide as little delay as possible and give racers information on their opponents as close to real time as possible. So we're going to be clicking that link, which will take us right here to this Google Doc, the Condor RTMP Streaming Guide. So there are instructions for how to set up a few different programs, OBS, OBS Studio, or XSplit. We'll be focusing on OBS Studio here because it is both free to use and being actively updated and maintained. So it's going to be the most convenient option for most users. Once you've downloaded OBS Studio and installed it, you'll get a pretty blank looking window like this. You want to go to File, Settings, Stream. Again, we're using a special custom server, so custom streaming server. For URL, you'll want to select one of these three depending on your region. Uh, EU, US, or JP. In my case, I will be using US. Use whichever one is closest to you or most relevant to your geographical location. Make sure to replace the RTMP username section with your personal username, Spooty Biscuit in my case. This is case sensitive and must be typed in all lowercase, so make sure you do that. For stream key, this is something you should have gotten either in your email or in Discord private messages. It should look something like this, live question mark username equals RTMP username, your username here, so Squiddy Biscuit, and pass equals, you know, this is your password, it's whatever you got in your email, I'm just going to make something up here, should look something like this. This line is, as well, again, case sensitive, so make sure this is all exactly as it's been presented to you in your email or Discord private message. Moving on, we go to the output section. OBS defaults to 2500 video bitrate, which is way higher than we need. At an absolute maximum, you should be streaming at 1500 video bitrate, but could probably go a little bit lower to 1000 or 800 to make sure that it's most convenient for both your internet and for any possible restreamer or viewer's internet. Um, if this provides problems and your internet has a hard time keeping up, you can continue to lower the video bitrate all the way down until maybe about 300 at the absolute lowest. It won't look good, but you do need to do whatever you have to do to provide a consistent st uh, stream output. Streaming is absolutely required for this race, for this uh, racing tournament. So make sure you have, a set you have settings that will work for your system. You can also turn the audio bitrate as far down as possible, because audio is not going to be relevant in most of these situations. Um, casters will not be pulling audio from your streams for, for commentating your races. 
And racers um, who are watching their opponents will also be wanting to focus on the audio from their own game. So audio is not important at all. On that note, you can leave all options in here, the audio tab, disabled. For video, you either need to stream at 720 or 1080p in a widescreen resolution. I tend to stream in 720p, so I'm going to change my base resolution to 1280 by 720. For FPS values, you can set um, you can set this. You can leave this set to 30. 30 is what a lot of restreamers are going to be uh, casting at. So going up beyond that will very often not give you very much benefit. So 30 is a happy medium. 20 is something you can go to if you're struggling to provide a smooth playback. But 30 is generally going to be fine for most setup setups. So that's all you need to do in the settings menu. At this point, it's just a matter of capturing the gameplay footage. So you have your scene here. You can rename it if you wish. It's not necessary, but we will rename this to Condor Race. Under Sources, you want to right-click, click Add, and either go for Window Capture or Game Capture. I'm going to use Game Capture here. Make sure you have the Necrodancer game open at this point. Name your Game Capture Necrodancer if you wish. For mode, I'm going to capture a specific window. This assures that it will only broadcast Necrodancer content by selecting the Necrodancer.exe under the window dropdown. At this point, you may need to resize the window to make sure it's fitting and appropriately centered on the feed, so right-click the Necrodancer capture, go under Transform, and Fit to Screen. So at this point, everything should be pretty much ready on, the on OBS's side. But there are some settings we need to make sure are appropriate in Necrodancer itself. Gameplay options should look mostly like this. The most important parts are to have sh have show cutscenes disabled and show boss intros enabled. For graphical options, most of this is up to personal preference, but speedrun timer needs to be enabled. In addition, your view multiplier and resolution needs to be a combination that is compliant with Condor rules. Those rules can be found right here in this text document. 1920 by 1080 resolution at 4x view multiplier, 1440 by 810 resolution at 3x view multiplier, or 960 by 540 resolution at 2x view multiplier. As you can see, I'm currently using 1440 by 810 at a 3x view multiplier. That's all that needs to be done in game on Necrodancer, so at this point, we just need to make sure that these the output is correct. Also, uh, worth noting, you under the properties for the game capture, you may want to disable the capture cursor button, since that is not going to be relevant here. So, for starters, we're just going to make a local recording. We're going to click the start recording button, and we're going to play around in the game a little bit, just to make sure that there are no stutters or lag spikes, that I can play the game just fine, absolutely smoothly. And we're not having any problems, so we're going to stop recording, and go check the output, which gets dumped into your video library by default, and make sure that the video playback is smooth as well. This seems perfectly fine, so we're going to close that. And now we just need to make sure that we are set up appropriately to stream to the Condor RTMP. I need to emphasize, the Condor RTMP is for active races only. Restreaming and commentating another race uh, is something that should be streamed to your Twitch channel, not to the RTMP. That said, you do want to make sure that your RTMP settings are set up correctly in advance, so when you're first getting started out, you can do a quick 30-second stream or something just to make sure that, it's, that it is set up correctly. So we'll hit Start Streaming here. Now, if you did it incorrectly, you'll get this window. Obviously, I'm getting this window because I entered a completely made-up password, so, if you see this window, make sure that your username and password in the settings menu under stream are correct. I'm, now, obviously, I can't show my password on stream, so I'm going to switch to pre-made scenes that have the correct password input already. So, at this point, now we'll start streaming. And you can view your stream at rtmp.condorleak.tv slash pound sign your username. Now that we're live, we can refresh this, and we should see my stream come up. 
Now keep in mind that this that the web page uses a flash based web uh, web video player and many browsers disable flash by default. So go to your browser settings and make sure that under Adobe Flash Player, always allowed to run is enabled in the case of Chrome. Depending on your browser, this, the exact location of this setting may vary. Alternatively, instead of the browser window, you can use VLC to open a stream directly, which is how I do it. So open up VLC Media Player, click Open Network Stream, rtmp colon slash slash rtmp dot dot tv slash username spooty biscuit here slash live click play and after a brief delay the stream should appear so at this point we've confirmed that it's all working correctly you want to check and make sure that you're not dropping frames in OBS down here. If you are dropping frames, you may want to try lowering your bitrate. But at this point, stop streaming. Again, make sure you are not streaming to the Condor RTMP except when absolutely necessary. But at this point, we are done. You're completely finished with setting up the streaming side of things. Now we need to set up uh, our settings with respect to the Condor bot race bot. So when you first join the Condor bot server, you'll want to go to the Season 5 channel and type dot .register, which will register your name with the bot, followed by dot .stream space and then your Twitch username, Spooty Biscuit in my case, and then you need to set your time zone. The time zone has a pretty specific formatting that it needs, so you can type dot .help time zone to get a link, which will lead you to this list of appropriate time zones. Once you find your time zone in there, type dot .time zone and then copy pasted time zone. And that's all you need to do with the race bot. If you need any further assistance, you can type dot help for a full list of commands, or dot help and then a command name for details about the command and what it does and how it works. At this point, all that's left is to race. Once you're appropriately signed up and registered, you should be automatically scheduled into two races every week. Once you are scheduled with a racer, you will be put into two racing channels. In this case, I have the Mudjo 2 Spooty Biscuit channel and the Paper Duplis Spooty Biscuit channel. So let's look at the Mudjo 2 Spooty Biscuit channel. At the start, one race, either racer, should suggest a time, a date and a time. In this case, Mudjo suggested March 2nd, 9 p.m. This is in his local time, which is Eastern, and you can see that the bot converts the time into Central for me, 8 p.m. Central here, and asks us to confirm. If the time is acceptable for both racers, they can dot confirm and officially schedule the match. If the time doesn't work for both racers, a new time can be suggested and, you know, uh, and repeated as necessary until an acceptable time is agreed upon and confirmed. After a match time is confirmed, you just have to show up at the scheduled time and the race bot will automatically start a race by providing a seed. So at this point, you want to go to the lobby. Go to all zones mode seated and type in the seed granted to you 801284. Make sure, make absolute sure, that you are entering the seed correctly and that your opponent does the same. Once you are ready, stay on this screen and type dot ready or dot r for short in the racing channel. When both players have readied, the racing bot will give a countdown and on go, you press enter on Necrodancer and start your race. Races proceed as normal at this point. You can reset as many times as necessary, whether due to deaths or any other reasons. And once a racer finishes, they type .d or .done to indicate their completion. The bot will note the, will note the time and then start a new race by providing a new seed. So repeat the process two more times for your full set of three. And once the third race is concluded, the results will automatically be recorded and you're done. And that is all there is to racing in Condor Season 5. If there are any further questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. But otherwise, good luck to all racers, and I hope to see you all in the Condor Season 5 race rooms.